Hi, Mum. Hiya, how are you? Yeah, Where are you? Yeah, so we're in... Now that is an excellent question. Yes, I am dressed as a fried egg. Unfortunately, these fried egg costumes didn't actually arrive in time for real jailbreak, um, so we had to wear these like fried egg dresses instead. But you know, now that it's arrived, I think I'm just gonna live permanently in this costume. It just goes, it's, it's good for any occasion, you know? It's no yoke. So basically the challenge that we had was to get as far away from Durham University as possible in 36 hours using none of our own money. It was all in aid of Amnesty International and everyone who took part had to raise £70 in total before even starting the challenge. So I think about £3,000 was already raised before we even set off. I teamed up with my friends Paddy and Gabby and we named our team At Least We Fried Our Best. We set off from the Durham Student Union at 8am, then ran home to make some punderful signs. Mine says, help us Eggscape. We put on our makeshift fried egg costumes and managed to hitch a lift to the airport. Take it away, past me. Hello, so the update <laughs> is we've made it to Newcastle, which is um, just quite close to Durham, really. It's a start. <laughs> However, progress is I phoned EasyJet, who were like, hey, we'd maybe be keen. So I'm currently drafting up an email to them to hopefully send. Um, they said that maybe they could help us find like free flights or cheaper flights for sponsor, I don't know, so that's the plan. Um, but now we're just gonna go and hassle random people in Newcastle. <laughs> okay, so the first challenge that we encountered was that we were trying to fundraise <laughs> without a bucket. <laughs> so people were just looking at us like, what do you want? <laughs> what are these eggs doing? So uh, now we have a bucket. This is gonna be much more successful, I think. Now this is a smashing idea. Thank you. Okay, so I bought my megaphone. Not gonna lie, it's a bit of shit. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it doesn't amplify your voice at all, it's like a kiddie one. Um, it did have batteries, but that was a complete waste of money. I was so annoyed. <laughs> Thanks so much. We are at the Grey Monument. We've got some cash, <laughs> and we're gonna head to the airport, oh, I think, because yes. this, is, this isn't doing us much, <laughs> unfortunately. Upon arriving at Newcastle Airport, we headed straight to all of the airline desks to ask them if they had any free tickets going, um, you know, like standby seats that no one else was sitting in that were just going to various locations to see if we could get on the flights for free. Unfortunately, they all said no, and EasyJet promptly responded to my email also saying no. Um, a particular low blow, however, was British Airways giving me a fake number to phone. Um, I can't believe I got pied by British Airways. So, so far, we're not having a massive amount of luck at Newcastle Airport. However, I've been on hold to EasyJet for a very, very long time. I've heard human by the killers a lot of times. <laughs> and hopefully they can help, but I'm not feeling optimistic about it. But I'm just jamming out to the killers at the moment. It's not looking great, not gonna lie. I thought it would be much easier than it is currently proving. <laughs> just for reference, <laughs> For five pounds more than I paid for this, we could fly to Alicante in Spain. Let's play a good scene. <laughs> this is so annoying. This thing is taunting me. I was having fun, but now I'm not having fun. Okay. I agree, I agree, this is going terribly. So, in a sudden turn of events, we've somehow managed to fundraise um, 100 quid whilst at the airport. Um, one of the other teams was here a minute ago, but they bet their money online and then won the bet and are now on their way to Spain, which is so annoying. But I think we can probably get to somewhere, but we might only be able to get there tomorrow. So we're trying to work it out, we might have to do a bit more fundraising, but no one at the airport is, being, is letting us... Paddy's gunning for a night out in Newcastle, which I feel like is not that yeah. charitable, <laughs> I'm feeling. <laughs> but um, I think we're going to have a look online and see where we can get to with 100 quid. With £100 raised, we could have flown to Malaga or Alicante or Faro, um, but there were already teams in these places, and so we thought we'll always just be hours behind them, and we couldn't possibly beat them if we did that, so we decided to stick it out and play the waiting game, raise more money and try to fly further. So currently, we can almost afford to fly to Cyprus, which is two 2,133 miles away. Currently, I think we're the only group who are actually this close to Durham still. However, it's a marathon, not a sprint. We'll get there. We're coming for you, Cyprus, eventually. However, we are debating continuing because this flight is not until 8.30 tomorrow morning, which it seems a bit pointless when we're like hitchhiking to just sleep in our own beds tonight. So I'm thinking we might go to Edinburgh and see if we can fly. 
even further. We'll see. Then a family on their way to Lanzarote came and sat next to us in the airport. Bemused by our rather excellent costumes, um, they originally gave us just a few quid, like a bit of spare change that they had um, for the cause. We got talking, um, chatted to them for ages actually, just about our trip, their trip, um, all sorts of things. And then as we got up to leave to go and continue fundraising, they said to us, well, how much more do you need? And we said, oh, well, we need 30 pounds more in order to afford a flight to Cyprus. And um, the guy said, here. I'll pay it. And so we were absolutely ecstatic. Um, he gave us the 30 quid in cash and then we could head over to the desk and buy our flights, which was just such a relief. We were so, so elated. Um, and yeah, this is where the, the day kind of began to change a little bit. Okay, so um, we've had quite a few, we made a GoFundMe basically, and we've been sharing it on social media and we've got a few people to donate to us. Also some people in the airport took pity on us <laughs> and gave us quite a bit of money, which is so, so nice. So we've been looking at flights to Paphos in Cyprus, and then we're thinking of going somewhere a little bit more exciting <laughs> from there, which we think we might be able to afford. We'll see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> fingers Best crossed. Spoons, watch the rugby. Best students, watch the rugby. Jobs are good and best Best of both worlds. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> so, flights to Paphos in Cyprus are booked. That's about 2,100 miles um, under our belt. So that's a good start. Um, and now I think we're going to hitchhike home because that'll be more fun than just getting the metro, won't it? 100% <laughs> more fun. Note, it was not a good idea. So um, we're hitchhiking, we just realized <laughs> there's nothing to tell anyone that we're um, actually trying to get a lift so we were like panicking like oh no we haven't got anything this is a whiteboard like we can just rub it off we're gonna write Newcastle on this Aww. the good news is we now have a sign that says Newcastle the bad news is Paddy bought crisps and their Brussels sprout flavour what were you thinking? you know how crisps are normally nicer or different from the thing that they brought to me <laughs> This is not, just as grim. Not the case. It's really not like that. They're even slightly green. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm not even joking. That looks fluorescent. Worst person than that. Apart from the megaphone, worst person than that so far. <laughs> new dilemma is, is it weird to stand and watch this random football match we just started walking past? <laughs> Dress like this. We've decided to leave um, for some extra time in Newcastle. Hey. hey! Thanks guys. After about an hour of walking and no cars at all stopping for us, we came across a Toby Carvery. Now this was a bit of a low point in the trip. We'd been walking for ages, no cars were picking us up, and so I had a genius idea, I thought. Um, because I noticed outside Toby Carvery they had a sign that said you could get a Toby Carvery delivery to your house. So, I went into Toby Carvery and asked the person working behind the desk that if we ordered a takeaway to the house that we were planning to stay at, would we be able to get into the back of the delivery van and hitch a lift to the house? Suffice to say, they said no and sent three very sad fried eggs on their way um, and then we walked for another two hours. Goodbye my lover. Goodbye my friend. Not you, Patrick. Oh, right. <laughs> We've got a bit D of e. Um <laughs> Bit of freestyle over here. We've got a bit off piste. Unfortunately, we had really banked on the fact that someone would see three fried eggs walking down the road and think, oh, I'll pick them up and take them into Newcastle. I'm heading in that direction anyway. No one did. So most of our journey took us through this weird field with just cow pat everywhere. Um, and it got dark very quickly. We're just walking around in the dark. Um, this was really not a highlight of the trip. So after our gold D of e, we've made it to Beth's house. Beth is putting us up for the night. Thank you so much. I actually met Beth in uh, Thailand on Khao San Road and we had a Thai massage together. And I have seen this girl be bent into all kinds of shapes. So we're actually quite close to time right now, but we are heading to Spoons for some rugby yeah. and some food and some food we're starving <laughs> after our trek we deserve it there she is I'm so excited I've been waiting for you my love Paddy how happy are you on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm honestly I think I'm the most happy I've been over here I'm actually close to tears <laughs> so we have beers and burgers I'd just like to clarify that this is something we bought with our own money. This is well deserved, I think. Despite the fact that we haven't really gone anywhere yet. Well, Spoons has been my favorite destination of the trip so far. Okay, so, update. Um, I've just had a little DM on Twitter. By the way, we've come back to um, our friend Beth's house. Um, just had a little DM on Twitter from Betty, whose mum wants to sponsor us 100 quid. Um, and could literally change this entire game. She runs a website called Emma's Kitchen, who I think do something to do with teaching people who are going to uni or students and that kind of thing, how to cook. Which, personally, I'm like, right, sign me up right now. Um, 
but this could be incredible. I'm very excited about this. Emma's mom has got it going on. Thank you so much. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh. Yay! Flight books. So, um, we are getting into bed. We are all shattered, considering we've done pretty much nothing. We are so exhausted, but um, it's coming up for 1 a.m. We're gonna get up at six and head to the airport as soon as we can. Um, hopefully not walk it this time, but we'll see. So for now, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Ooh. Good morning. Um, it is currently like approaching 6.30 in the a.m., not the p.m. We are on our way to the airport again. <laughs> Obviously after 24 hours now of jailbreak happening, we haven't gone anywhere, but that is all about to change. Um, I'm hoping that the other teams are feeling very smug in Malaga and Alicante and York and Leeds and Coventry, and then we're just gonna suddenly blitz it on our way to Cyprus today, so um, that's where we're heading. We've ditched the buckets um, because we thought that's not going to be easy to get on our Jet 2 holidays flight. We've ditched the whiteboard, we've ditched the, the banners, and we've ditched the Brussels sprout crisps. Oh, and we've also ditched the we've also ditched the megaphone. That is the plan. We all feel a bit like death, but it's in, for an exciting reason. So, um, I for one am excited. There she is. We used the money we had remaining to get the metro to the airport, which was much much quicker by train than it was by walking, and headed onto our flight to Paphos. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> So um, after it became increasingly obvious that we were not actually going to be back in time for me to do this presentation, I've done it on the plane, I'm going to send this away to uh, Tutor. However, our flight has been delayed by 20 minutes, so I'm not sure we're actually going to make our connecting flights, which is so sad. We're going to give it a bloody good go though. Thank you! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, how has this happened? We're in Cyprus! Oh my god! This definitely counts as being in Cyprus, but anyway, <laughs> off to departures. So I guess now is as good a time as any to tell you that we're going to Tel Aviv in Israel. <laughs> um, there were really cheap connecting flights from Cyprus to Israel, so that's where we're going to try and go. Wish us luck. <laughs> so from Cyprus, the cheapest onward flight we could find was to Tel Aviv. Now in this video, I refer to this place we went to as Israel. I understand there is a huge conflict um, and I have to hold my hands up and say, I am not educated enough on this topic to hold a an opinion on this. In this video, I do refer to it as Israel many times. This is purely because of, on our travel documents, that's what it said. Um, now that I've been there, I definitely feel like a moral obligation to do some research and to educate myself on the topic. But for the sake of this video, I have called it Israel. So just so you know, that's why it's not to do with anything political at all. So we've sent a picture of ourselves at Cyprus Airport to the person who's running jailbreak. Um, she said we're currently in the lead, so I asked where the next people were. They're in Morocco, so we're doing quite well, I think. Um, and I've just told her that we're going to Israel, and she's reacted much better than what we expected, actually. So, quite buzzing about this. Um, <laughs> Let's go to Israel. So we've decided not to wear the air costumes on international flights. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely happening now. Um, I don't know how to tell my mum, let alone Tel Aviv. I don't mean to be dramatic, but I think this is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever done. <laughs> but hopefully it's plain sailing from here. Ha 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 ha. Oh, hey, strangers. <laughs> wow, this airport is beautiful. Oh my god. This is crazy. We're not in Newcastle Spoons anymore. Guys, we made it to bloody Israel. <laughs> We've smashed that. We have smashed that. What the heck? This is so cool. This is so mental.
Um, now what? Okay, so we've made it to the metro station at the airport. We actually booked a hostel last night because we were pretty sure we were going to be here tonight and we weren't sure if they would need to know like where we were coming to stay. Um, we didn't really want to get like deported straight off the bat. Uh, we kind of wanted to at least spend some time here. So uh, yeah, we're going to spend the night here. The first challenge is just finding where on yeah. earth we need to be. Oh. Station, so it's one stop. Hey! Oh, one stop! Oh, dream! Good stop. Hey! No way! The tubes are double deckers! I'll go top deck. We have got to go top deck. Like this is so whole, cool! Whole childhood if I, didn't go top deck. I can't believe this exists! Here's our hostel. This is cool. Hello! Hi, Mom! Hiya! How are you? Yeah, Where are you? Um, we're in Israel. Israel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Israel. Yeah, we're yeah, so we're in Tel Aviv. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> Thanks, mom. That's amazing. How did you get to there? This is a good question. Uh <laughs> so jailbreak ends in like the next 10 minutes. We have no idea. We think that we're winning, but we don't know. I really hope that we are. I think we're definitely like Top two, top three, um, but we'll find out very, very soon how it's gone. Oh, hello! I'm in my happy place. This is yeah. This is a good. This is a good place to be. <laughs> so we've just found out that we won jailbreak, and I feel like this is the only appropriate way to celebrate. <laughs> Cheers, guys. So um, yeah, we'd made it to Tel Aviv, which was crazy. It's something that none of us expected when we set off. Um, but so, so, so cool. Like I said, somehow we did manage to actually win jailbreak. Other teams got to Morocco, Spain, France. Um, some got to like further south in the UK. So we were buzzing to have won. I'm just, I'm so elated still. We decided since we'd got all the way to Tel Aviv that we might as well spend some time there. So we spent a good 24 hours just exploring the city, really enjoying it. Like we got to see so many cool things, have some amazing food, particularly shakshuka and hummus. Oh my God, amazing. But yeah, it was just a really, really nice trip. Um, so we then paid our own way home. We got um, a flight to Istanbul, then another flight back to London Stansted a coach to London King's Cross and then a train back to Durham. So it was quite a long-winded journey home, but so, so worth it. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who donated. I'm gonna put all of the names of the people who donated on the screen now. So thank you so much to every single one of these people. You are amazing. I really, really appreciate it. And you made Jailbreak such an incredible experience for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So Jailbreak took us 2,300 miles away from Durham, um, which I would say is an absolute success. If you thought this video was excellent, then I'd love if you could crack the thumbs up button, um, give this a like, subscribe for more content from me, I make like lots of uni videos and stuff like that. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you have a lovely day, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Hopefully not dressed as a fried egg, um, but quite possibly will be. Anyway, bye!